In this video, we're going to use a Stack AI free replacement. Everybody's been telling me I don't want to pay $500 a month to use Stack AI. Is there a free alternative? Yes, there is, although it's a little bit tedious. It's easy, pretty easy to set up. We're going to use Flowwise. Um, so it's an open source Stack AI, basically. Um, if anything, it has more features. Um, although Stack AI is just more easy to use, everything's set up for you. It's more plug and play. This is a little bit more for developers, but it's very, very easy. Like, this is basically no code. So, you're going to need a good GitHub account, which I'm getting now. Um, just let me get it. There we go. Let me get the code. Copy it. Paste it in. Um, just fill out this information. Skip this. Put the free plan. Boom. Now we're in GitHub. So next thing you're going to do is go on the Flowwise repo. So just search on the top. Oh, let me choose a line flow for now. So once you're logged in, you're going to search Flowwise in the search bar and click the first one that comes up. And now we're going to look for the render deployment settings. So all you're going to do is scroll down until you see Documentation, self-host, render. So click deploy to render, and then we'll have step-by-step -step instructions on how to deploy it. So we're going to fork it first, which is on the top right of the repo. You click fork. And then make sure you got the fork successfully done. Wait till it's done. Afterwards, you want to sign it to render. You can sign it with GitHub. So authorize it, and we forked it so we can go back. Complete setup. And then it should send us a confirmation email. We'll go to our email. This is not the right one. We'll go back. Look for a render. There it is. Click on it. Now we're good. Now we're in. So now we'll go back to the instructions. And it says click new plus. So there it is, new plus, the button. Click on it. And then it's going to be web surface. Select web service, yes. And then we're going to select the Flowwise repo. So you're going to have to connect your GitHub account which is on the right side where it says GitHub. So connect your account and then install render onto GitHub. And now Flowwise will pop up, click connect and it'll connect. And now you have to fill up the settings. So it's going to tell you how to fill up, um, fill it out. So for the name, you put whatever you want. We'll just put Flowwise and the server will leave it default. And the branch main, okay, this runtime we have to put node. And we should be good to go. Fill your name, press the for none time. Fill and build the command start as follow. Yarn build, yarn, yarn build, yarn start. Looks good to go. Select the right and click create. Okay, we'll use a free plan. If you want to keep it up, don't use free. Okay, and we're going to click on that link, flowwise.bonrender.domain, and now we have it set up. So now we can create flows, okay? So flowwise AI, there's a lot of templates that you can copy. Um, Let's see. All right, now we'll click Add New Flow. Press Plus, and now we have a lot of options, different agents, Auto GPT, all the good stuff. So we're gonna need a PDF loader for this example. We'll do PDF file, search PDF, and then you can see what you need. Um, you need a text splitter. So we'll get a text splitter here. Um, character splitter, actually, I think it's called. Character splitter. Character text splitter. We can use either either or. It doesn't matter. Um, I like to use the recursive one though, so let's delete the other one and let's connect this to that. Um, what else do we need? We need the vector database, so we can use pine colon for this or chroma. So we have the upsert, we'll drag that in there. So that's going to be where the PDF file will be stored and it'll be embedded with OpenAI's embedder. Let's go to Pinecone and let's go to Open AIs to grab our API keys for these apps to work in our Flowwise application. So, so you can sign in with Google. I'm gonna hide some information here. Um, let's go to Open AI API. Let's grab the API key. Okay, create a new secret key. Generated, copied. Now we go back to Flowwise. We can copy that in there. Paste it in there, I mean. 
and now we open a chat open AI window this is the actual chat GBT model and we're gonna attach that to a QA conversational retrieval chain so this will be the link between the document and the LLM and then this is a PDF that I found that we're gonna be using it's just on like a bunch of drugs by the UN so that's some information about drugs so we'll upload upload that in there and now we need our information from Pinecone. It's still initializing, so we'll give it some. We'll give it a second. Okay, so now it should be loaded. Okay, so we get create index, and we put any name that we want. I'm gonna put drugs. I'm gonna put fifteen thirty six dimensions, which is a standard, and cosine as the metric. These are all standard. This is what you need to do. Anything else is more complex. You don't need to worry about it. So we'll get drugs. We'll paste that in there for the Pinecone index. So that's the name. Then um, we need the environment, so copy that, paste it in there. And then we need the API key. So we can generate a new API key, drug, and we'll copy it. Copy, and let's paste it in there. And then everything should be good to go. So now if we were to test it out, make sure everything's good, yes. Make sure everything might okay. Wait, we have to wait for the initialized vector database. Let's test it out. Should be done any second now, though. Let's take some time to set up. So press chat. It should be working now. What is a drug? Wait for the still initializing, so it might not work. Let's give it a second. Bear with me, guys. Oh, we got an error. Okay, let's wait till it initializes. While we're waiting, please like the video. I mean a lot. Okay, so let's try again. What is uh, cannabis? Let's see what it gives us. Okay, there we go. Works. Once it's set up, now it should be working good. So now we can ask another question. Is it safe to make sure? Is it going to be safe or not? Awesome. So now we know what's working. So now we can go to bot press. So we can create a new bot fun part begins so let me just delete an old one give me a second create and edit so we can start from a blank template before we do that so you're gonna click get the code this is gonna be your API link so you need that flowwise dot image dot on render so you, it's in the top right beside the save icon of flowwise to the left of the save icon is the code button Click on that, and that link you see there, the HTTPS, is what you need for the code that I'll give you guys. So this is the code that will connect BotPress to Flowwise. Okay? So that's all you're going to need. The code will be in the description. You're just going to have to subscribe, like, etc. to get it. So we're going to start from a new blank template and start, and then we're going to connect our start node to a new standard node. Um, we're just going to make a simple bot here. We're just going to see if the user wants information on a certain drug, if so, they'll just type um, the name or some of its specifics of the description of the drug, and then they'll get a more detailed analysis of that specific drug based on the PDF. Okay, so now we're just gonna speed through this a little bit. We're gonna connect this node. Start, we're just gonna ask the user if they're interested in learning about, or please, what uh, do you know what drug you want to find. Connect to another node. So we'll give them a yes or no option, which will go to the same place because the AI is going to search for the information either way. Um, so we'll get a raw input. We'll see if the variable is drugs, drug, just lowercase drug. And what, please describe or say the drug you want information on. And then we can just get an execute code block. The code will be in the description. You have to get again. So make sure it saves this drug. Okay, so the code is there. So that endpoint you're going to have to replace with your URL, which is found in the flow eyes, which I'll show in a second. And all this code is doing is going to send um, the data what is variable drug. So the drug will be filled in by the user, and there's going to be a pre prompt in the code, which is what is. So the flow wise will generate what is drug and then we'll give an answer and send it back as AI response variable. Um, that will be the response it sends back and all we have to do is
send that to Flowwise, and then Flowwise will give us a response, which will be AI response variable, which we can add right now. So AI response, add. And again, this code is going to be in the description. There's a link to get it. Okay, um, then we're going to go get the endpoint URL, which you're going to need once you get the code from the description. And you're just going to have to replace it where it says your API URL here. And you just paste it in there, and it should be good to go. It's plug and play code. You don't have to do anything. If there's any problem with the code, um, DM me on anything, and I'll help you. I'll fix it for you. So then expression, we're going to add a transition here to a new card. Now she's just going to say, do you want to search again, or do you want to end the, the conversation? So we can ask the user, are you done? No, search again. Yes, I am. So if he's done, we'll end it. If you want to search again, we'll just restart it from that node. And then the text will add AI response. So FlowWise will send the response to this text so the user can see the response. And we'll make the transition true so it always transitions. And now if you test it out, we'll type here, weed. And it should give us a response just like Stack AI would. So usually, and Stack AI, Stack AI costs five hundred dollars a month, guys. This is free. You, it's hosted for free as well, but you can pay for a better server, and it'll be faster. Um, there we go. So weed is a common strain for cannabis, which is a tobacco-like material made from dry flowering, fruiting tops, and leaving leaves of cannabis plant. Awesome. So now we can search for another drug if we'd like. This is just a basic chatbot example. You can use this for so many use cases just like you would use Stack AI. This is a complete replacement if you'd like. Um, let me see. Yes, pain is harmful. So where can I buy weed? Let's see what it says. I don't know. Okay, so there we go. So there you go. There you have it. A fully functional chatbot with custom knowledge base from a PDF file that's loaded up into LLM on a different platform that's not BotPress, which is Flowwise, which is free and open source, and a replacement alternative for Stack AI. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys, this helps you. And if you have any requests, any ideas, please reply below in the comment section, and I will try my best to help you and or make a video that solves the issue or what you want to do. Bye.